Hello, and welcome back to ET002, or the episode two, or whatever you want to call it. But uh, um, I thought I would talk about some stuff that's happened recently with me. So oh, I released that video, um, my very first ET video last week. And this week, um, since that uh, video, uh, I've seen and been referred to a new neurologist. So the neurologist wants me to try primadone. I've tried propranolol in the past, and maybe I'll talk about propranolol in a future episode. Um, I have asthma, so there are some issues with that. I'm pretty sure I've tried primadone before, but I'm not 100% sure. And uh, um, she also decided, said she's going to refer me to a, a movement clinic, and but that could take like a year or something. So, so you got some time um, before that happens. So I thought um, I'm waiting for my wife's benefits to kick in at work so I can afford to buy some primadone uh, from the pharmacy. So before that, I thought I would do a baselines. So what we're going to do today is uh, um, one of the tests they sometimes, well, Pretty much every time I, I've seen a neurologist, they get to do um, like an Archimedes spiral. This particular neurologist, it was a Zoom meeting, so they didn't get me to do one. But I've recorded my right hand and my left hand with uh, um, doing this the spiral. So I'm going to show you those coming up right away. And then after I show you those, uh, um, I'll talk some more. <laughs> Okay, so here's the videos of me doing the spiral tests. You know, this one, R. R. There we go. I remember, yeah, just for, for future reference. So I was thinking, um, before I take the primadone medication, it would be good to set, like, a, um, um, like a baseline for my spirals. So just to see if there's a significant improvement. I can already tell um, today is not the best day for my spot, right, uh, tremors, but we're gonna give the right hand a try first without touching the paper with the hand. Uh, my hands might be in the way, but I'll draw it and then lift it up. It's kinda, oh, okay. It's, <laughs> okay, so the challenge today was keeping the hand on the paper. Um, if I rest my hand, I, it's easier, um, sort of, um, but without my hand on the table, um, I couldn't um keep the pen on the paper basically so we got right l for left and uh this will be interesting i've never tried this with my left hand my right hand's my dominant hand so i'm just going to interestingly enough for whatever reason this is like easier Keep on the paper. So there you go. It kind of <laughs> was, when I was part with you, I was like, well, maybe um, it kind of looks like a scruffy dog. So that's my left and right. Um, sorry if there's a bit of a tilt. Um, Base lines. Um, I kind of want to try that right one again. I kind of like, ah. Uh, just, I'm gonna be, uh, yeah, it's just, it really picks the hand up, the whole, everything. So that's my dominant hand. Interesting. So, if we put them next to each other, the left hand at least kept contact with paper. Uh, the right hand, not so much. 
Okay, so those were the spiral tests. Um, I was really surprised with the right hand. Uh, um, lot right hand is the hand I write with, right versus R versus W. Um, it was super hard to keep the the pen even on the paper, uh, um, so it makes it hard to write. Obviously, um, I had my hand up off the paper a little bit, so that made a difference. Left hand stayed on the paper, um, not quite as much tremor, so it's it's possible we'll see going forward with medication. Um, <laughs> I feel like I'm you know in my I'm only in my fifties, so I'm not very old, but I feel like it's a little late to learn to write with the left hand. But you never know; this old dog might learn some new tricks. Um, another thing, so yeah, I just kind of wanted to do the base test so that in the future. I can um, compare with the private O and see, oh, hey, even if the hand stays on the paper a bit more. I'm not going to practice doing spirals because that what could, could, could negate evaluating the two different ones. I mean, just if you've got a central tremor, you know you have some dates that are better than others. So even just with that, it can make a difference. Um, Another thing I wanted to talk about uh, that makes a big difference with my essential tremor, or at least I feel like it makes a big difference, is sleep. Um, I really find it helps if I have a consistent sleep pattern. Um, for me specifically, if I go to bed between 9.30, 10 o'clock at night, um, I'm usually up 5.30, 6 o'clock in the morning consistently. I don't have to wake myself up because my body at that point is saying, um, hey, it's time to get up. So just having a consistent schedule and making sure I get um, a lot of sleep. And interestingly, I had lots of sleep. I'm still shaky, obviously, with the uh, spiral tests. But, um, and, an, and another thing I try to do as well, uh, because my tremor is the worst first thing in the morning is to always try to wake up a couple of hours before I need to be at work or volunteering somewhere or just before I need to be functional or as functional as I can be. Um, just giving my time, because when I wake up, my tremor's the worst it is all day. And so when I wake up, um, it's super shaky, like shakier than now. And uh, I like to give myself a couple of hours to uh, um, do that. So my, that's my tip for today. I know it seems like a, a pretty obvious tip, but getting your sleep, um, even if you don't have essential tremor, and so many things happen when you're sleeping, all your memories are kind of are sunken in and and your brain kind of does goes into maintenance mode. And it's important to get that sleep and get a consistent routine uh, um, and just give yourself the best chance for a good next day. So um, I wish everybody the best. Um, surprise myself that I actually did a second video. So, you know, take care of each other. Uh, call your friends, call your family, tell them you love them. Uh, um, it, I know it's still COVID, we're kind of, it feels like we're in home stretch, but see, be safe. Um, support each other in the best way possible, but in the safest way possible. So I hope you all have a great day and a great week, and I'll maybe see you for a third video. We'll see. Bye.